America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this council meeting on January 3rd at 9 a.m. to open, and I'll accept nominations for president. I'd like to nominate Ron Bittman as president, please. And I would second that nomination. If there are no other nominations for president, I'll close the floor and ask for a vote. Those for Ron Bittman for president. Raise your hand. That too. Raise your hand. All right, good job. Carries four. Not, not a and and <laughs> the <if> thing. Okay. <laughs> That's great seats. Oh, my. So, so, you, so you get the presidential seat. Uh, <laughs> it's, good. it's comfortable. I don't know whether to thank you sarcastically or say thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your tone is. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, I like this one better. Where get this higher? There we go. Oh, this is much better. Okay. Seeing so. Your name, please. First business is to nominate, open nominations for a vice president. So we are now officially open. Vice president. I'd like to nominate Phil Lilliger as vice president. And I will second that. Right. If I can, if I can, have someone else. <laughs> bless us. You're doing a fine job. All right, any other nominations for vice president? Nominations closed. All in favor of Phil being vice president? I'm going to vote for myself. Unanimous. Five zero. Okay. A couple of things real quick. Um, we run the risk of losing our quorum here pretty quick um, because a couple of us who have to leave. So we will table all department head until our regular meeting on the 17th of January and that way we have a redundancy unless it's a discussion of money or bills that we have that we need to cover for last year and I don't think there are any so if that's all right with the department heads we'll we'll table all that until our meeting on the 17th uh, just in the to move this along a little bit. The next line of business, if I understand this correct, are you can borrow uh, board appointments for 2024. And um, if, if I need to, I will go through each and every one of them. Um, which I think I just will. All of us, and, and Pete has called in, so we know what Pete has said that uh, he will stay on. Uh, our ADA compliance is Randy Gunderm. You okay? Yeah. Our board appointment for the library in Akron is Laura Reese, and I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Alcohol beverage is Pam Fish. Again, I haven't heard anything to the contrary. And if you guys know anything, Rick or Dave, speak up, please. Um, the area plan is Chase. I know he's not real happy with that appointment. I'll be happy to try to fill that one in. Okay. Any concerns about Lori taking that over? No, that's my okay. with me. And Phil Miller is our citizen appointment. <clears throat> the art committee is Pete, Phil, and uh, Ryan. And I'd like to remain on that committee, but that's Thank all right. you. Okay. I think Brian is okay with it. And, so and I know Pete so is expressing interest. Yes. So. 911 communication board is Steve. You okay with that? Community corrections is Pete, and he has already expressed that. Same with courthouse security, 
and criminal justice. He has said he wants to stay on all the boards there, so. You get that look in your face. <laughs> Uh, early intervention was Megan Leininger. EMS board is myself, and I'll stay. Fedco, Randy. Yeah. Thank you. Both uh, uh, BZA. Our appointment is Barry Baldwin. Animal adoption and control is Kathy Adamson. The library board. Our appointments are Renee Overmeyer and Paul Zartman. EMA Advisory is Steve. Bravo. Thank you. Redevelopment Commission is Lori and Phil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Hazardous Substance is myself and Rick Fouts is our um, yeah, non voting person on there. And I think Dave, you are on that as well, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Information technology, Randy Gunner. Thank yeah. you. Insurance committee is Pete. Job classification committee is Phil, Lori, and Pete. Yep. The Keywana Library is Daniel Bates. The LEPC is Steve. Manitow Training, Randy. Yeah. Park and Recreation Board is Bill Walsh, Walsh and Eric Slark. Is that correct? I don't know what your name. No, that's how we call it. Okay. Personnel. Personnel policy is myself and Phil. Mm -hmm. Peter Boa is Michael White and Rick Gardner. And one from each uh, party. And Phil is on there as a non-voting member. And that is it. Oh wait, the Solid Waste Committee is Phil. Yep. Yeah. And that is it. So unless anyone has any thing changes or whatever need to be done to that. I make make a motion to we vote on that to stand as approved. Make a motion so, to stand as approved. Uh, Steve second. approved it. Lori seconded. All in favor. Okay, so we are going to do this by the seat of our pants. Uh, Rick, yes. do you have something you want to yes. approach? Let's <clears throat> Good morning. Good Happy morning. New Year. Happy New Year. Um, I don't know, about six months ago, we started meeting with Charlie Sparks back here. Um, and Charlie is, I don't, did you, well, first of all, did you guys get the bio and everything I sent you guys? Did you guys get we all did. that? Thank you. Everybody get all that? Yes. Okay. Uh, the only change in the contract I sent you is a two year contract. The commissioners, Change that to it. We only wanted a year contract at a time when we when they did that. So uh, that's the only difference in that. And uh, basically, about six months ago, we started talking with Charlie, me, and Trent and, uh, about Industrial Park out here south of town. And uh, very very knowledgeable man. And uh, you know, we've got got a lot of knowledge. He comes from Kokomo, as you well know. Started a bunch of stuff in Kokomo. He come from the state of Indiana. A bunch of stuff in the state of Indiana. So um, then, I don't know, what a week ago, Trent called me, wanted me to be on the, come into the redevelopment commission. So we went in there and he talked about hiring him as a consultant, joint, joint effort between the city and the county. Of, uh, what was it? It was so much a month, like $5,800 a month. We figured out to be $3,500. $35,100 a piece. Uh, for the county and the city, is that yep. what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Yep. Sorry, a go piece. ahead. Um, so that, that's where we're at. Um, I brought it to the commissioners and they, they accepted it with you guys to see if you want to fund that or not. Question? And, and, and Charlie, this is Charlie. 
Charlie's back here to introduce. If you need to, if you want to ask him any questions or if he wants to talk or anybody. Before Charlie talks, I'll endorse him as well if you don't mind. Uh, I was, I had met him by chance over the phone and then uh, after I met him, my brother-in-law was a state rep, had worked with Charlie for years in Kokomo and said he knew Charlie had moved up here and was going to be retiring from his role in Kokomo. And Mike told me, he says, man, if you can get him on your team somehow, he'll be a valuable resource to have uh, for your community. And then as I've gotten spent many hours in meetings with him, discussions with him, uh, and then when I've been in some mayor schools, I've talked to other leaders around the state who know him very well, and they're very jealous that he's in our community. So uh, just to throw an endorsement out there, I felt like that was uh, uh, good enough for me that we are uh, looking at a, a valuable asset, if you would call him that, uh, but a great man too, uh, that I think will benefit us, in our, as I mentioned to the commissioner meeting yesterday, to help us achieve some economic prosperity for our community. Now, Charlie, if you got a question for him, if you got well, one thing I might add, he will, be, he will have an office at, with uh, Michael up at Petco. So he has got a place to, if I need soft to him or whatever, and I'll let him take him. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Trent. Yeah. That was a kind of words. I'm going to go back here and back and hide. So we, we just have been talking <laughs> quite a bit about, it seems like the right time to put an enhanced focus on economic development. Uh, it's kind of a unique time with the significant investment that we're seeing in north central Indiana, both north and south of us. And uh, so, so we thought, uh, you know, just seemed like the right time to really place more focus on making sure that we, Rochester, Fulton County, are in a position to compete for any activity that might uh, be surfacing uh, throughout North, North Central Indiana. Uh, so I just look at this as an opportunity to be helpful and, and uh, support both the city and the county and, and work closely with FEDCO uh, to help promote this community and work to attract new capital investment and new jobs. I'd be happy to answer your question. I, I have to admit, yesterday, when I got this thing from, from Rick, I did have a question, and I did ask Michael this yesterday morning. I said, is this, my concern is I have people in my area that don't like FACO, no matter what they do, right? But I asked Mike, I said, no, is this a slap in your face that they're bringing you in to his job and he emphatically said no I endorsed it I want it and so um, I have to say that that eased my mind a little bit because we already have a gentleman who I think is doing a good job and now but then after I explained it I also asked the mayor about Rochester's backing of it as well since that's half of it and he emphatically said yes he was so hardly buying so I, I respect you for asking Michael that question because I've been in jobs like Michael's for years and that, that's a very good question to ask. Uh, but Charlie and I have had this conversation. Uh, we started out very, we've known each other since the 80s and that one of his concerns was if he got involved, would he be stepping on me? He didn't want to upstage FEDCO or anything, he wants to help. And I'm emphatically in this corner that we needed. Um, I'm going to divert for just one minute. Last night I got a phone call late um, from someone I don't really want to name right now, but um, the question was, is this going to do anything to you? And I answered no, and it got me interested in uh, doing a little bit of research last night. Um, the more people you have helping in this position, economic development, the stronger we're going to be. Kosciuszko County has six people. Um, Cass has two. Peru, uh, Miami has uh, five people, all working toward economic development. Um, I kind of stopped there. Um, I know that there's other counties where there are multiple people working and you have to have multiple people doing this job because everybody's an expert in one area. You can't be an expert in all areas. So this is a massive plus for Fulton County and we need it, honestly. So I'll. 
let him go back unless you have any questions. But, 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 I, but I do understand how to stay out of his way. Uh, I think that's important. You know, he's, he's the local economic development person. I want to be supportive of what he's doing. I, I, I think my, my role hopefully would be more behind the scenes. Don't necessarily want to be quoted by the newspaper or anything like that. Just, this would be helpful and help move things forward. <coughs> a, a question. Good morning. Hi. Good to meet you. I haven't met you. Um, you. I did read your bio and your professional career um, and your commitment to economic development is outstanding. So that's a plus. Um, one question I had, and maybe Michael answered it, was um, I had read under the proposed letter of engagement mm -hmm. that you sent to Rick, and we all have a copy of. Um, the proposed scope of services, um, it seems to be there's a duplication of services that, that we already have with Fedco and, and Michael Ladd, and is that the case? Are the, are the services being duplicated? Okay, you mean all the services? Un, under the proposed scope of services that you listed in your letter. Yeah. But, but maybe that's not the case because Michael just said. There's going to, there's going to be some duplication. Okay. It's just going to, I mean, that's natural. Right. Okay, Phil. But Charlie's got a set of skills, and I have a set of skills. And Charlie has certain interests, and I have certain interests. And we have already created those dividing lines. It's not that we're not going to overlap. overlap or anything. It's Charlie will take the lead in one, in certain areas I'll take the lead in other areas being in the same office all we have to do is walk from one office to the next <coughs> have a conversation we keep each other informed um, so this is this is not too I know what you're saying I don't know how to say it but it, it's not going to be the duplication that you, you might think it might be I, I think it's like I said, it's enhanced focus. I like that. It's not, yeah. it's not wasteful okay. duplication. That's how I, that's how I think. Yeah. I've, I've, and Rick's been involved in many of them too. I've been in hours of meetings with these two guys together. And this, the discussion we have around the table is, it's just, uh, it's a great chemistry between these two and myself, I feel like. I don't I bring the least to the table, but I, it's, it's, <laughs> it's neat to sit and listen to these guys talk about different uh, Ski or different uh, ways to achieve what we want to achieve here, and they uh, both sides say, "Oh, we, you know, you hear the response. That's a good idea. And it, it's just a great uh, opportunity to bring in a more well-rounded team into what I think will be a very productive next uh, several years for Fulton County and Rochester." Right. Okay. If I may, I should tell Charlie because you don't know me, these poor folks, I ask lots of questions. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean I'm against something, I'm just a question asker. No. That's why you're hearing all the groans and that <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> they know that about yeah. me. Well, so, if, if, me. if I may, right, if, right now is, is the most exciting I've seen. You know, we got a bunch of projects to market. We got Black It or Dry, you know, getting the pavement done, getting some stuff done out there where we can market that. We've got Apache just getting done. Well, we can start marketing that. We're, we're looking at out south of town to start marketing. We, this is the first time that we're really getting some stuff that we can start marketing, the downtown thing. You know, hopefully Akron, Akron had some things on the thing that need some help, we hope. I mean, you know, and that's, I, I just feel that Michael's gonna be switched, stretched a little too thin. Everywhere I go anymore, you know, I can go to meetings, a city council meeting at seven o'clock at night, there's Michael. You know, I go to a meeting at one o'clock in the afternoon. There's Michael. You know, he, he, you know what I'm trying to say. So, so Rick, um, before you introduced Charlie, you said something about a contract. Mm -hmm. So, so do you have a contract with Charlie? You have a contract other yeah. than this proposed letter of engagement. Yeah, we si we that, signed one that, that Christina should have. We signed one that Christina should have. The only difference is. We made it a year. It, on there is a two-year agreement, and we changed the date, so so it's a one-year agreement. It ends uh, December 31st of 2024. So, so the, the contract that you have is different than this proposed letter of engagement. Is that a correct statement? The only difference is, is 
crossed out the, the date and put a different date on it. Yeah. That's the only difference. So that is the contract. That this, that this is, is the contract. Is the we, one year so. we amended the date is the only thing we amended. But the only reason I'm asking that is being negative, <laughs> not being negative, is um, there's no specific objectives to be met, no specific timelines of those objectives. This is pretty open-ended and vague. If I, if I remember in that contract, when he turns in a claim at the end of each month, he's supposed to list the duties you've done. Yeah. Is, is that correct? And, and, and the time, time allotted towards those duties? We haven't discussed that. No, yeah, there's I mean, no time. Oh, I, I guess okay. we didn't discuss There's that. no hours per se. Okay. We're trying to be somewhat respectful, somewhat respectful of his desire to be semi-retired. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sort of. Okay. <laughs> but we know what drives him, and he loves to do this. So. Okay. I know. Also, my daughter worked for him for what five, six years. She did. And or I, I can't remember. I may have worked for her. <laughs> <laughs> but she totally. He is a go-getter. He makes things, makes things happen. And I know she. He he's great to work with. Abby said probably the best boss she had. So, she. So I wish I could get that same kind of job again. <laughs> But so I have no issues with thirty-five thousand. Yeah. I mean that is nothing. Yeah. As long as there's some success involved, and I'm sure there will be. No, I, I get your point. It, it is hard. It's it's difficult in economic development to say we're going to deliver eight hundred new jobs. You know, in, in the next twelve months, it's or a certain amount of. I mean, I've been doing this forty years. And I just know. That's almost impossible to do. You, what you can do is position yourself to compete for opportunities, but you can't guarantee the outcome. It's, it's so competitive. So that's why I kind of shy away from getting real specific about commitments on jobs and investment. Understood. Thank you for answering my questions. Thank you. I have nothing else. I've got a stupid question. I take it the city has approved their. Uh, it's going to become funded through the uh, Redevelopment Commission. Okay. Uh, Brad Kernan is, a, well, he just left or will be uh, replaced. He's on my board of works now, but he's been president of the RDC. I just talked to him this morning, and we're going to do a retroactive contract here probably in a couple of weeks. We're going to endorse him by the uh, uh, board of works, and then we'll have to run through the city council, I believe. Uh, just, uh, I believe we have to, even though it's RDC funded, but RDC <coughs> will be uh, funding the other half. As you know, when we talked, Mr. Mayor, it was pending. You guys it was pending. Com yeah, mm -hmm. our, our, con our, when we made the motion, it was pending the city. Right, yeah, it'll definitely be funded the city. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I have nothing else. Thank you all for your consideration. Appreciate it. Are there any other questions? Board and or? I just uh, would like to say that my experience uh, with Charlie and the board, uh, when you're set on board, the more input you can get uh, and uh, diversity, I think, is a big deal. And if you want to do something right, go find somebody that's been involved in doing it right and get them on your team. And I feel that's where Charlie uh, fits in. Uh, and there again, I've seen more exciting things. You know, there when I first took this job, it's like never really heard what Fedco was doing. Uh, maybe they just weren't very good at marketing what they were doing. And I think that a lot of the discontent with the public was what are they doing you know well Mike uh, has done a good job in the board as far as uh, raising that awareness level and now like I say the, the brainstorming with uh, Charlie is going to just improve the overall results I think so I would endorse him as well thank you anyone else I guess um, 
we need to have a motion whether or not we approve this and the funding, which we'll have to figure out where that comes from. My suggestion is EDIT funds. And uh, because that's what it's for, economic development. Uh, but let's do one thing first. Let's get this, uh, let's uh, entertain a motion. Do we accept this letter of engagement and enter into this agreement? with Mr. Sparks based on the pending approval from the city council. Does that sound appropriate? Sounds good. For just one year. For one year. For one year. I'll entertain a motion. I'll move to approve. We'll move to approve. Steve second. All in favor? By zero. Pending approval of the city council. Um, I don't have anything else on the agenda, so we will do old business. Anybody got any old business we need to discuss this morning? Randy? Well, the only, the only thing I've been thinking about that I, I thought I would like to uh, officially bring on to the table was the thought process of going back to paper ballots on our voting. I know it's not very popular, but I think you can make a pretty good argument that it reduces the chance of having any problems in your elections. Because all the election problems that people have experienced have been through the computer. Uh, and the paper ballots, you don't have that. So I'm going on record as saying, I'm all for going back to paper ballots. I may be the only one. So it's good, good, but I'm it's not a good sure thing the county clerk's not here. Yeah. <laughs> She's having a heart attack. It's not on our veil of responsibility, although your opinion is noted. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Lori? I have nothing. See? No. Nothing. I have nothing. Christina? No. Anyone? Oh, just Mary? to make sure you get the wording right on your uh, vote with Charlie. I thought through uh, the RDC will be meeting on the 31st. We're going to endorse Charlie from the Board of Works on the 12th. The RDC will actually do the voting uh, in, in a 100% confident they're going to fund it. But the RDC is the one that's actually going to be uh, the hinge and not uh, the City Council. Okay. All right. So it's worth we'll make that well. Up. We'll clarify that. Okay. Did, I got a thing of old business. Yesterday, or whenever our meet, yeah, yesterday morning, our commissioner's meeting, we signed a contract with Barry Ritter to do uh, follow up service after the contract to monitor, make sure Lutheran does what they're supposed to do. It was for 24000 We We're going to pay that. We have that in our budget for this year. So we'll see how that works out and we'll go from, go from there. That was the one year. Uh, that was a that's a four, four year, year it's actually four, it's four year at twenty four thousand per year per year, per year. Yeah. thank you and and we already had the money for this coming year so you know we agreed to find it out of commissioner's budget well that's nothing we have to approve since you no but i've no. just given you oh no thank you wonderful idea yeah yeah no i think so absolutely do we know gail where do we stand on that um we're still waiting on until that to get contract is with the both attorneys agree with the verbiage um, they're not obligated to put an ambulance in Akron. Yeah, I made that comment a couple of people in town, um, so, but it is so what it is. I mean, yeah, I we understand. are waiting um, to get that final thing. Last I knew, it was at our lawyer, and it was going back to their lawyer. And yeah. They're supposed to give us a 30-day extension because our time was up the 14th, I believe it was. Yes. We're supposed to have a 30-day extension until we get the contract negotiated out. All right, thank you. Uh, we're up for any new business. Kathy, I didn't see you walk in. I'm sorry. You got anything? I just wondered what the status was on the 24 budget. Has it been approved? Well, well I don't know. Has it? We got it back from the state? We have gotten a response, yes. And there are some cuts that have to be made. Okay. Dr. Phil and I have discussed it. Okay. I was not aware of that, so. But they're minor 
and, and easily fixable. Yes. yes. Okay. That'll be discussed Wednesday? Or the 17th? At the 17th? Yes. Okay. I'm assuming. And and will we get copies, paper copies of the budget? The 17th? I have not planned on it now. I will email them. You'll email copies? Oh, on the 17th? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Answer your question? Yes, thank okay. you. New business, Randy? No. No. Story? No. Steve? I have none. I have none. Is anyone out of the audience? New business? <laughs> if there are no new business. I'll move to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Bill, yeah. move to adjourn. Yeah. Steve Sager, all in favor?